Good morning, everybody. This is Daniel with Peace and Plenty Farms. Like I was saying yesterday, they uh, had an 18-wheeler breakdown out on 95, 9,000 pounds of cheese. So we've got a quite a bit, and maybe a pickup truck load of cheese to get rid of, do something with. So we did some quick uh, researching on YouTube and different uh, canning methods, and we improvised real quick and came up with this idea I had these two metal trays which happened to fit across the two burners and I put a little bit of water in there and then of course I've got the cheese uh, in there and I've been using this uh, spatula to uh, fill and press it down press the air bubbles out and um, these are the bags right here they're marked food lion so Colby Jack is what we got um, and uh, the idea is to get these canned today. This will be the first video. Let's see how this idea works. I like this because you can put the lids right on here. I saw other people putting them in the pot and then taking them out, put the lids on, then putting them back. This way I can pack the cheese down in there, get the air bubbles out, put the lids on, and go straight out to the canner. Now one of the secrets I learned um, last night when I was fiddling with these jars and planning out today is the wide mouth pints they fit three high in the 930 All-American canner and they fit two high in the 915 All-American canner the problem is if you go with the regular mouth they do not fit they're a little bit too tall for that for both of those canners so that's going to be the secret uh, today if you're buying a 930 be sure and get the wide mouth jars that way you can stack uh, three layers both the 915 and the 930 require the uh, wide mouth jars well thank you so much for watching and this is definitely a come grow with us today this is totally an experiment it may or may not work, the jars may break, the cheese may not settle, I don't know. We're just giving this a try and we'll go from there. If anybody has any comments or advice, let me know and we'll grow together. Thank you. Well, alrighty now, let's bring you up to speed on what's going on. So we put all of the uh, cheese in the jars and uh, we canned them. And I was wrong earlier, I said I said this is the 915 and this canner right here I do not recommend at all I would avoid this 915 canner because it's too tall for quarts and it's too short for two rows of pints I thought I had said earlier that the wide mouth double stacked would fit but it doesn't and the regular mouth you can you can put eight in the bottom and you can put three or four in the center at the top but you can't put eight full ones uh, all the way around, not enough room. So that's a disappointing that, that uh, it's that extra, it's that height, but it doesn't do any more than seven quarts or eight pints in the bottom and then your divider tray and then three or four on top maximum. That's the 915. Okay, now on the 930, I had said earlier that three rows of pints would fit the wide mouth, but I forgot about the uh, trays that go in between to separate the jars, and I guess the lids are a little bit and, and all that, and it's stacked up too tall. So you can only get two layers of pints in there, whether it's regular mouth or large mouth, that's all you can get into the 930. The advantage to the 930 is you can get two rows of quarts in there. So that's the advantage to the 930, and it does um, two complete rows of pints, whether regular or large, where the 915 only does a total of 13 jars. Now, on these, we had a couple break. Two of them broke. Let's start there. Two of them broke, and the reason that they broke is because the water wasn't deep enough in these pans. These pans are 19 by, they're 19 inches deep and 12 inches wide, which was perfect to do um, 12 jars at a time. I could put, you saw them on the stove, I had 12 jars on each one of these trays. 
And that meant the plan was that 24 would fit in the 930. But that didn't happen. We had to get the 915 All-American canner out real quick and put the other eight pint jars in that. And um, I had intended to go slower with it because I knew it was kind of dangerous with the water being so shallow. We had the teapot going with hot water in it and we just kept adding hot water but the uh, crack the crack started right here and of course it just busted out the whole bottom and the cheese went everywhere so there's cheese on these that where it spilled over we'll just clean those up we'll clean all these up but they're they're sealing they're they've all sealed even though there's there's cheese on the outside of them and we did 15 minutes this time at uh, 10 pounds so when we got up to our 10 pounds we uh, just did it for 15 minutes. Other YouTube uh, sites said 30 minutes, and it's too long. Look at how it looks. 30 minutes is just too long. So we found that the 15 minutes makes a real nice, pretty um, jar. Well, they're good and hot and sticky. They're sticking to the um, sticking to the uh, beach towel that I put out here. So we're going to uh, let them cool down. And then we'll take them inside and we'll clean them all off and we'll put them up on our uh, storage shelf and we'll have cheese um, should the power happen to go out they'll be they'll keep for two to three years like this well I hope everybody has enjoyed this I hope it's been a help and like I always say you know I, I'm showing my failures and what we're learning and we look forward to your comments so that we can both grow together Alrighty, this will be a quick wrap-up video for this evening. I wanted to tell you one more thing that we did with the uh, cheese uh, jars earlier. This is the uh, meat that my sweet baby got uh, canned today. Beef, chicken, pork, that type of thing. We're waiting for it to cool down. We'll wipe it down and uh, put it on the pantry shelf. But what we did with the shredded cheese was we poured some in the bottom of uh, the jar and then what had melted already I found that if I took and just went around the outer rim like this it would like roll it into a almost like a dough and it would just pour right into the top of the next one that way the cooler unmelted cheese was on the bottom and that way you didn't have to stir it as much and I just then I would go back to the empty jar and put a little bit more shredded cheese in that and then wipe the and it would just roll into a ball and just fall right into the next jar and we melted it that way instead of sitting there trying to stir and get the um, unmelted cheese into the bottom it just seemed to work better to pour it in there that was one little tip i wanted to give you and keep in mind that it's about the harvest thank you